Hello, this is Chaos Balloon, and welcome back to Isla Cave and Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Last time, we completed the, the trade quest. Yeah, that one. This, and it brought us to here, which has stuff in it. Um. Okay, I want reveal. Reveal! No. Ooh. Now that's a very interesting thing on the floor there. Also, magic ore. So, you know, we're probably about in line with when we should be have come here. That's good to know. This is a very interesting pattern, which we can't do anything with yet. And in fact, we won't be able to do anything with this for a really long time. But I will have to remember it's here. <laughs> this is a mimic, isn't it? No, it's not. It's the turtle boots. Okay. When they say lower defense, I mean agility, they really mean lower agility. <laughs> These aren't even as good as the safety boots. What? What the hell is even the point of these if they don't boost defense by more than three? Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to check that, because I I thought these were supposed to be really good defensively. I mean, they tank your agility, but so did the safety boots. Only apparently these increase your defense by more while lowering your agility less? I don't, I don't get it. I'm gonna need to look this up. But that's for later. That's for later. <laughs> For now, we have a cave to explore. And a log puzzle to solve, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Okay, so. Hmm, that's how it is. This isn't really much of a puzzle, though, is it? I mean, the solution is. Yeah, I wouldn't even really call this a puzzle. I mean, it's just do it. And then, there is no r real additional solution to it. It requires no finesse whatsoever. But hey, it's the genie! Yay! The sixth Earth genie. And the last genie of any sort we're going to get for a while. Oh, but you shall be mine! Cop I wow. Just wow. We'll be right back. Ha ha! This time you were caught by surprise, Ginny! Let, let's, let's not have a repeat of that. Um... Yeah... Go with... Kindle? And go with... Sure, yeah, Kindle's fine. Mmm... -hmm, that one. We stunned it! We did it! We actually did it! And that's why I put the luck boost on Shiva. To increase the odds of that happening. Although in fairness, I'm pretty sure Jenna also has a genie that can stun things. So, you know, it's a pretty even... It was a pretty even choice. Uh, yeah, right here. Char. Now, then, let's do fog. Oh, we killed it! With a wind Ginny! Bones XP, here I come! Nah, that was a little underwhelming. I mean, I guess it is just a Ginny. It's a big deal to fight, but the real prize for it is getting the Ginny. Mel. Um... Okay, what do I have so far? That... Hmm... Okay. I know this is a defensive genie that acts does the same thing as Chill, but I'm pretty sure that was in Golden Sun number one. So, it cannot be Meld. What is Meld, then? I... I... Hmm... I have absolutely no idea. Launches a powerful team strike! Man, that could be anything. But check it out! We have unlocked the power of Odyssey! 
Much like Diamondberg, o Odyssey replaces Ragnarok. And oh, is it worth it. Allow me to demonstrate the power of Odyssey. Oh, well, I mean, that is still probably around a 50% increase in damage. And it looks really cool. Actually, having said, well, I think, actually, I think Odyssey is one of the ones that looks better in Gold Sun the um, Dark Dawn, to be honest. The overhead effect of Ragnarok is so cool. Ah, uh, ooh, a rusty staff. And it's that simple a game. I think that's all we can do here though, so at least for now. And for a long time for that matter. Cause seriously, when I say we won't be able to do anything with that, I mean like literally one of the last synergy in the game involves that symbol. So remember. Because it's it's gonna be a thing. On that note, let's see. Well, I kind of want to go back to the blacksmith again, but I don't really want to waste all that time. Hmm. Well, it's probably a really good weep on, but on the other hand, it may, at this point, it may actually be cursed, like for reals. So let's see. I have a lot of space in my inventory. I'm just gonna keep going on. And where is going on? Whoops. And where is going on, you might ask? Why? Well, you'll see in a mi minute or two when I get there. <laughs> I could actually do um, this right now. Go back to Al Halfra and do the thing there. Because I have absolutely everything I need, I think, to do everything in Al Halfra. But I think it's more interesting thing to do it in this order. Partially... Uh, wait, whoops. No! Oh, well, it worked out. Pierce is gonna attack the wrong one, though, and then end up defending. Uh, what was I saying now? I got sidetracked. Um, I think it's more interesting to do things in this order. Plus, also, while I'm fairly sure that I have everything, I'm not 100%. I I may or may not need to do one more thing to have the desired order of events in Al Halfra to do absolutely everything at once. Uh, I can land here. Is this for a want, though? I don't think it is. Hmm. Um. Well, I have a map right in front of me. Why don't I just look? This is not the one I want. This is the one I want. Welcome to Champa! The land of the pirates. Also, reveal! Ooh, a viking helmet. A historically inaccurate viking... Excuse me. A historically inaccurate viking helmet. Seriously, they did not have horns. Excuse me. Was this water? But it doesn't increase attack power, which is a little unfortunate because, well, first of all, this would be best on Jenna, and second of all, I'm not taking away Felix's um, attack increase helmet unless he gets a huge defense increase in return. So we'll give it to Piers instead, and he can just be even better at tanking water. Um, how much does this increase anyway? Uh, plus eight? Well, that's not bad for a helmet. Behold, that is a really huge resistance stat. Um, oh, come to think of it, I gave Jenna water resistance, didn't I? No, I gave her water power, not resistance. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, wait, I missed that. Wait. Uh, no, you look really familiar, though. No, I'm not. I just said that. 
I'm sure I recognize her. Is, is it the purple hair? Um, how would we know? How would we know? I am Fancy. Isaac helped me, but I knew it! She's from Golden Sun the first. But which purple-haired woman is she from the first Golden Sun? Obviously she's not Aizen's, or Ivan's probably mother. So... She's probably the woman who got hit in the head with a synergy stone and started seeing the future. He helped Umuk. Umuk was trapped, but Isaac saved him. He's a brave man, isn't he? mean old man. It is not polite to tease me. <laughs> oh, Craven. You are so terrible. Oh, seriously? Oh, what is that? Isaac is on a dangerous journey. I'm worried about him, so I made him a good luck charm. I see. Mm hmm. We got the golden ring. Okay, as far as I know. Well, as far as I know, this, this is one of the bonuses we get for transferring data from the first Golden Sun. Um. The Colossal Warriors we may or may not have met earlier. I honestly don't remember if we did. Also, are only there if you clear the Golden Sun one. Um, wow, this is actually wait. It's a use effect. Well, that's lame. Uh, might be better than this though. Hmm. Poison. Increase that. No, that was actually useful. Uh, you don't even have a freaking ring. Okay, we will give it to the one guy who can actually increase elemental resistances naturally. That, well, he can also cure poison naturally, so... And he can heal... Yeah, yeah, he's the one who makes the most sense. I mean, I'm not giving him the HP increase. He doesn't bloody need it, so... His inventory is kind of full, though. Might need to do something about that. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? There's also one other thing that I actually missed out because I didn't, didn't do something in Golden Sun 1. Uh, that is just a little thing with the bandits we met at the very beginning of the game. Which we didn't get because I forgot to go back to a village, I think. A anyway. My fa when my father heads out to sea, he takes our home with him and leaves us cold. But when he comes home with an empty net, that leaves us cold and hungry! <laughs> Not much space in the cliff caves, that's why we have to live out here on boats. My dad went out to fish, but there were no fish to be caught, so he came back empty-handed. Everyone in Champ is poor, but the poorest of us all live on rafts. I want to live on land. Well, that's, that's kind of depressing. For real! It looked to me like the wave came from the Sea of Time. What's in there? What caused it? The tidal wave was terrible! It nearly swallowed me whole! Li uh, most of them live in the cliff, but not everyone. They're dank? The people in the harbor really resent cliff dwellers. I mean... That's kind of sad, but it makes a certain amount of sense. If you were forced to live on a raft in a harbor, while well, most of everyone else was living in cave- well, I mean, I don't know if a cave is actually a huge improvement. I mean, these are not really great rafts, maybe, but fix up your raft, and a raft might actually be a better place to live than inside of a cave. Um, <laughs> it depends a lot on the cave as well, I suppose. And if nothing else, it's a lot easier to repair and maintain a raft than a cave. 
Well, to fix up a raft anyway. Maybe, maybe it's not easier to maintain, but it's easier to fix. Oh. Well, huh. So, I have good news and bad news. <laughs> How did you find your way here? On the... to the edge of Angora. Champa is hidden by mountains. No one ever climbs to see us, except for the monks in the Fuchin Temple. Reveal! Nope. Well, let's go into the store. I'm sure I have something to sell. Uh... Reveal! Nope. Um... Nope. And nope, and nope, and hello. Okay, that's actually not even worth very much. I guess the safety boots are actually better than these. Whatever, I'm still gonna keep them. At least until I look it up. Because I haven't actually done that yet. Um, okay, I used to own both of these. So, that looks new, but it's not as good as anything I have. This, however, is an improvement. Plus 10, plus 10. Well, you have higher defense, so we're going to give it to Shiva. Aha! Game ticket number 35. Oh, I... Oh, a potion! I'll take that. And... anything else? I don't think so. No, doesn't look like it. Anything regular you're selling? Late mail? It was well, better than... I mean, it's better air quotes. The festival cloak is better. Because in plus 10 luck is way more significant than plus 7 defense. That's not even an improvement. That is a... Uh, I mean, this is a more arguable, but still, plus 3 defense, plus 8 attack. Attack is more valuable to me in the first place, and it's not really an even exchange. What about this guy? Oh, interesting. What are you doing? Once Briggs comes back, we can play the Ilio game. I hope they come back soon. Ooh. <laughs> he does have the ability to lift things up. He's totally an adept. Real! Nope. The Champa Sailors aren't well liked outside of here, are we? No, you're not. I mean, I'm not spreading rumors, it's a, it's a fact. <laughs> Our matriarch is the last successor of the Ankol. She's a master of the forge, and it was the ancient gift of the Ankol. There is nothing broken they could not fix. Absolutely nothing! The cliff caves are a lot quieter with Briggs gone. It's a little lonely without him here. For real! Nope. Oh, this is actually a full cave system. So, we'll come back to that in a minute. I want to visit the inn first. Also, reveal! Seriously? Reveal! Ugh. Rumors of a terrible tidal wave. No, their ship totally got wrecked. Reveal! Finally! Oh. Well, seriously? Wow. Okay, this is this place. Uh, so let's visit the inn. R reveal? Aha! It's an elixir. For frazzle, frazzle. Okay then. 72? This is highway robbery! I should have come here way earlier than I did. And you're telling me this is the most expensive place yet? Man, that's just not right. Anyway, I'm gonna stop off here. 
Join me next time when we explore the caves of Kampa. Until then, this has been Chaos Blue, and have a good day. Bye!